In this video, we will see the uses and rules of using BAPI. So let us see what exactly are the uses of BAPI. So there are, BAPIs are used in three particular scenarios that is report creation and using the standard or the custom BAPIs to communicate between SAP and non-SAP servers. Moreover, using BAPIs for uploading data into SAP database tables. So there are some rules also here that is every BAPI should start with BAPI or Z BAPI. So um, the predefined BAPI that SAP has provided that is the standard BAPIs they start with BAPI and the custom that we make they start with Z BAPI. Moreover all the importing and exporting parameter they should be of the type structure and not the direct data type. So we have to pass the structure as it is and the structure also should start with BAPI and Z BAPI itself. Moreover, the, all the parameters should be of the type pass by value since pass by reference is not supported by BAPI and the return type should be return and BAPI or BAPI RET2. So here are two other BAPIs that we have to use that is BAPI transaction commit which is used to stay, save the data into the database table. Moreover, there is if um, BAPI transaction rollback which is used to revert back the changes made to the database table. So now let us look at another video that is the types of BAPI. 